it's time to rip open and hit something big in the this autograph baseball. And we're going to do some randomy, and everybody's going to get a last name letter in our box break. We'll start up the random in just another second here. So this break is all about getting a last name letter. And so we'll see what happens. T for Trout, M for Mantle, G for Gehrig. Where we're randomizing each list seven times. And then we'll stack the lists up side by side after they go through seven times. Here's lucky number seven. And the first list is gone. And now for the letter list. Seven times through. I hope you get something terrific. Lucky. Number seven. Now you can see your last name, letter, initial. Ho! So there is letter G for Corey. Uh, letter T for Mike Trout. There for Frank. Could be a Trout. Could be a... Garrig could be a mantle Noah. Um, any number of things could come out of here. So we're, we're always excited to see what is going to pop out of the next autograph baseball box break around here. So just pause for a moment here. And uh, any trades, possibilities, any, anyone trading. And uh, Corey, in case you can't see and you're away from the keyboard, Frank is offering all of his spots for the letter G. So that's quite an offer because Frank has so many spots in the rip. Uh, so you could, you could move out of the letter G spot. If you choose, but you never know, it could be a Gehrig in there. So it's, it is quite interesting. There is one autograph baseball and the spots are all 725 a piece. So every spot you see is 725. But yes, there is definitely autograph baseball in here. But I don't I don't know if you understand how the box breaking uh, works is that everybody gets spots. So what there's gonna be one winner and we wait for the box to fill up. There's 19 spots. All right, let's do it. Let's see what happens. Here we go. Somebody's going to hit something nice in the autograph baseball box rip. So let's see what we have in Hidden Treasures. Kind of got like a reflection. I think I'm going to cut light back for this one just to kind of get those reflections out of the way. It looks like 
It looks like to me yeah, the letter E. I don't know what last name it's a last name letter break, but it looks like an E to me. It could be anything. But let's find out whose autograph we're looking at. It's a TriStar Authenticated Autograph Baseball. And we're going to learn a little more right here. I don't recognize the signature. Maybe you recognize the autograph. I don't. could be anybody, for all I know. Hopefully it's somebody great. Oh, my. So this is really good. You've got a new prospect. Uh, for the Toronto Blue Jays. So th that's great. That's a good hit. So this is going to go to letter W owner. As his last name has got a hyphen. Uh, Simeon Woods Richardson. W is owned by Julian B. Congratulations, Mr. J. And with any box of hidden treasures, we're always looking for a bonus ticket. There is a ticket that could be in any one of these boxes. So we always go through looking closely to make sure there is no other ticket hidden around here in the break. So you're right. It looks like he signed it like S... And then maybe that's a maybe that's a R or something, but you're right. It, it is kind of an unusual signature, and you know he might even um, not speak English. You know he may speak French or something. So uh, that could be a little bit of the reason why that 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 E is or what it looks like an E is uh, is there. You know. That's how he signs, probably. It's it's authenticated by TriStar, so I haven't seen them make too many mistakes with this sort of thing. I would guess that is accurate to what he would sign. But that's great to get a 2020 prospect coming out of there. And let's see what happens. 